A local ghost story about the Homewood Library has gone viral on TikTok. Now, a library is a place you might not expect to be haunted, but according to the library administrators, it definitely is. They convinced me, so see what you think. When the doors close at the Homewood Library, the library becomes a different place. After Joshua Darren posted this video on TikTok. Lots of emails from people we didn't know. Library director Judith Wright says at first she was confused why so many people were asking about the ghost inside the Homewood Library all of a sudden. And then one of our board members sent me an email and she said my granddaughter saw this on TikTok <laughs> and uh, we absolutely loved it. The ghosts here have been researched and documented for years. The stories are even written about in books featuring hauntings in Alabama, all of them similar with accounts of lights flickering, doors opening and closing by themselves, items flying off shelves, and perhaps most chilling, the sounds of ladies laughing and talking in the basement. And when they come down here to check on it, there's nobody here. So what do you say to the people that are watching that might be thinking, there's no such thing as ghosts. Well, you haven't had an experience which you couldn't explain. A small farmhouse once stood in the middle of a pasture on this land. Then the Church of Christ was built in the 1960s. In the mid 80s, the building was converted into the Homewood Library we know today. Wright was a skeptic about ghosts until a group of paranormal investigators visited in 2017. And it's just the three of us and their equipment, which is kind of AM, FM radio scanners. And they asked how many spirits are here and it's silence and then the scanner goes nine after that Wright was a believer in the group of friendly sometimes mischievous ghosts. once something caught her attention in the corner of a surveillance video and when we slowed the video down sure enough no one is in our DVD section but a DVD just flies off the shelf they may not have a library card but they're welcome nonetheless I think they're here because they have an attachment and an affection to the place. I think they are a part of our mission here. We're here to expand people's ideas and thoughts. Attracting new patrons who want to check out a ghost story. Now, before the pandemic, the library would host ghost tours with local paranormal investigators with Scare of Alabama. But with all of this growing attention, they've decided to bring those ghost tours back as a fundraiser for the library. So they've had a few this past week and now they're going to add some more coming up in January. So that's a little a little tidbit for y'all at home. That is yeah. so fun. Nine? Nine ghosts. They're very well behaved and quiet, which is very, good. Very nice ghosts. And you know what I love so much about when I called them about this story? They were like, oh my gosh, we love our ghost. You have to come talk about it. They're not, they love it. Because you, you know? thought maybe they would say, yeah. oh, we don't really want to talk about that. Yeah, that was my favorite part. So and they fun. say that you can go in and ask any employee there. You can say, hey, have you ever had a run-in with a ghost? And they say each librarian there has a story to tell. So And put that DVD back next time. <laughs> Whichever <laughs> one of you knocked it off knocked the shelf. Off. Great yeah. story. Uh, thank you so much.